I am Octavia Madden. I am a painter. I graduated from Aberystwyth University with a first in fine art in 2023. I then attended the Royal Drawing School in London for the drawing intensive term. Now I spend my time between Devon and London. I was raised in East Devon, an area of outstanding natural beauty. My childhood instilled in me an innate love of the outdoors. When in Devon, I love nature and the solitude of the countryside. When in London, I love the energy and artistic buzz and being able to go to all the galleries. I draw inspiration from an array of artists. Currently, I'm looking at Edvard Munch's work a lot and the way he paints landscapes. There is an element of being very specific. You can tell he really has looked at the subject matter but then it's also very painterly and there is a looseness about the work. Choosing how much detail to show versus how much to leave to the viewer's interpretation is something that I think about when making my paintings. Mary Lloyd-Jones, the Welsh painter, is another big influence of mine. Her colour palette and shape depicting the Welsh landscape are very powerful. And then also the work of Henry Matisse, Richard Diebenkorn and Pierre Bonnard have been influential. Their mastery of colour, form and shape is so very impressive. Beyond the visual arts, music, poetry and literature significantly influence my work. Louis Lieberman's Nocturne compositions played a pivotal role in the series of paintings I did last year looking at nighttime in Aberystwyth. Currently, drawing has become much more important to my practice. Before I was predominantly painting, but now this is flipped. At the moment, I am drawing in the landscape and then bringing the sketches back into the studio. Here I am working on them further, using my sewing machine to essentially collage different drawings together through stitching. The contrast of heavily worked drawings compared to more simpler ones when combined together have an interesting balance and this is essentially what I'm currently investigating. One significant challenge I'm facing currently is striking a balance between dedicating enough time to painting but also having a stable income. I'm working part-time allowing me to fund my art. Employment inevitably draws away from the time I could spend in my studio. I think this is a common reality for many artists, especially emerging artists. A continual juggling act, really. I would tell my younger self that despite societal pressures to pursue a conventional career, it's perfectly valid to do art as your career. Authenticity in pursuing what truly is important to you is not only acceptable, but it's also very important. When working outside in the landscape, I avoid listening to music. Instead, I listen to the ambient sounds around me, be it the chatter of people, the melody of birds, or the gentle rustling of trees in the wind. I find these auditory elements influence and become woven into my work. When working in the studio, I tend to listen to jazz or classical music. John Coltrane is who I'm listening to currently. Sometimes I'll choose a podcast. It really depends on the type of painting I am doing, as they all have their own energy and usually the music I choose will match it. In the evening, I might watch a series on TV and will just sketch along at the same time. The drawing usually ends up becoming more important and draws my attention than what I'm actually watching. The beauty of art lies in its diverse interpretation, with each viewer extracting unique elements from a painting. When people look at my work, I hope they gain an appreciation of colour and the wonders of the natural world. I aim to evoke a sense of connection to and admiration for nature.